hi and welcome back to my channel. My name's Emmeline Choi and I am the Holistic Facialist. Today I wanted to do a video about how to look after your skin in the warmer weather. Um, now I'm from Manchester and we don't really get really hot weather and when it does come it doesn't always tend to last. So in the last few days we've had the most glorious sunshine. It was 28 degrees on Friday, by Saturday it started to rain and now we're yeah, back to kind of dull, cloudy, normal Manchester again. <laughs> um, but it's still quite warm and um, I think the temperature is probably around 18 degrees outside and it's almost a little bit muggy so it's that sweaty funny temperature feel which isn't that great so um, what I've noticed in the last it's probably in the last couple of weeks when the temperature's risen and um, my clients have found that they're breaking out a little bit and um, I found that quite a few clients are having this problem and I am convinced it's from the heat and um, most of my clients that are struggling with pimples are clients who wear makeup regular and I just wanted to give a little bit of advice or a few tips on how you can look after your skin when we come into these warmer months and you do like to wear makeup and um, you know you like to look after your skin and if you find that you're breaking out this might be the video for you so let's get into it. So the first thing I would say is if you're wearing makeup every day try and cut it down if possible um, I know that if you like to wear foundation every day it's and you know your full face of makeup your foundation your bronzer your powders your blah 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 and um, it can be quite intimidated some, for someone to suddenly say just just don't but if you can wear as little makeup as possible that will really really help um, now I recommend something like a tinted moisturizer or a tinted SPF um, Nimu, the lovely range that I always talk about, Nimu have done a fantastic um, tinted SPF and they do it in three shades, a light, medium and a dark and that is a really nice, um, it's a really nice tinted SPF actually, some of them can be a little bit rich or sticky, it's, it's actually really nice, it's very very popular in the clinic and I like to use that especially on my days off when I don't have to wear a full face of makeup. Um, I tend to use the Lisa Eldridge sort of pinpoint concealing technique. There's a million and one videos online about how to do that no makeup makeup look. But if you are used to wearing a full face of makeup, it's a good way of um, of transitioning. So instead of your foundation and all your heavy concealers, you literally would use a tinted moisturiser instead. Maybe something like a um, a cheek tint or a uh, like a like a cream blusher. And then where you have that you've got any marks or scars or pimples, you would literally use a teeny tiny lip brush, like a lip liner brush, dab that into a good concealer. I, I like the um, the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage, I think that's a fantastic concealer. And you just apply that to those tiny little um, any marks or scars or anything and that's a really good way of giving the illusion of almost like you've got no makeup on you don't feel like you need to have that heavy foundation because the concealer is doing its job concealing the little marks without having to have a foundation that kind of covers a lot and you're hiding all the beautiful skin that looks pretty much perfect underneath so most of us tend to break out around the jawline so you could literally just pinpoint conceal all around the jawline it, it might take a, another five minutes but that way you're not wearing that heavy face of makeup and you shouldn't struggle with block pores the same in the warmth the reason we tend to come out in spots more is because of the heat, the um, the skin's natural sebum, it becomes more liquid and it can, it kind of like seeps out of the pores a little bit and then it can sit on the surface of the skin. When it sits on the surface of the skin, it will mix with dead skin cells and um, you, if you've got primers and foundations and powders, you know, lots of makeup, it just all locks together, blocks the pores and you, you get these little pimples when, especially when the pores are blocked, you know, it's a perfect environment, it's nice and warm in there and all the bacteria can breed. So we want to try and reduce the amount of makeup we're wearing if possible over summer, um, if you can. Even if you find that you have to wear makeup every single day, even on your days off, just, just cut it back a bit so you've not always got to have that, that heaviness on because you will tend to break out more. So that's the first thing. The second thing I would say is if you can try and do 
like a mini facial once a week. I know sometimes it can be a little bit of a faff, but if you can exfoliate your skin ideally twice a week just to get rid of these dead skin cells that are going to build up and you can your pores can get quite clogged with all the uh, the sebum and just the warmth and all the say all the other gunk that you're putting on your face and just general environment as well and um, if you can do an exfoliation twice a week a very gentle one in summer i would recommend using an enzyme and um, I always recommend Nimue exfoliating enzyme, it's brilliant, it just kind of eats up dead skin cells so you're not scratching them away and especially in the summer I wouldn't recommend doing really harsh scrubs, you want to use gentle granular scrubs if you're going to use one. Enzymes are great to say because they are super gentle but do avoid any kind of apricot scrubs, anything like that because the actual granules are not perfectly spherical, they're quite pointed and as you're scrubbing the skin, especially if you're doing it two or three times a week, you're tearing the skins and um, the top layers of the skin making a lot of sensitivity and then when you go out into the sun you're at a lot of risk of pigmenting so I would recommend a gentle exfoliating enzyme twice a week and then if you can build in a face mask as well so if you're finding that you're breaking out then maybe something like the Nimue um, clarifying mask is really good because it's anti-inflammatory it takes the anger out of those spots if you've got some really red um, angry spots the clarifying mask is really good for that and also the youth purifying mask I've got here as well this is um, a really good one if you're finding you're breaking out as well they're both clay masks and they're very good for just drying up any excess sebum on the skin if you're the complete opposite and you find that your skin's drying out and you've got eczema and psoriasis especially if you struggle with dryness on the face then maybe look at something more hydrating like a sheet mask and um, they'd be really good to do in these winter months, uh, winter months, summer months because they are quite cooling as well when you put them on the face so they just take a little bit of the heat out of the skin. I personally wouldn't recommend doing any kind of glycolic peels at home. The only one I ever recommend is, is a Nimue one that I, you know, that I do here but e even that I would prefer you to come and have a glycolic peel if, if that's what you want in the clinic and we could do a full consultation and we can be in charge of how long it stays on for and things because if you're doing it yourself at home you sometimes you can get sidetracked and not realise that you need to time it. Um, it's just not worth the risk in making your skin more sensitive and then going out into the sun and being at risk of hyperpigmentation. So I would recommend avoiding the glycolic peels over summer, um, not solely in the clinic but definitely at home if you do any over the counter ones, I, I wouldn't recommend doing those. Do more of like a gentle exfoliating enzyme and then um, like a purifying, like a clay mask if you find that you're breaking out or like I said something more hydrating, a, a sheet mask if you're um, on the drier side. So there I guess the basic skincare cosmetic -y things that I would recommend just cutting back on your makeup if you're wearing makeup every day and just doing a good deep cleanse once a week and maybe doing a second exfoliation as well if you get time. The other things I'm sure you're all aware of don't go out in the sun in you know the middle of the day if you can avoid it if you do have to go out in the sun make sure you've got some big glasses on if you can wear a hat to protect your skin make sure you've got a good sun protection on every single day and also drinking plenty of water will help to flush out any toxins any build-ups in the cells and things so they're probably the best tips that I can give you if you find you're breaking out in the uh, in the summer heat but um, yeah, let's hope it lasts. I do enjoy the sun and it's nice to have it a bit warmer for a change. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching anyway and I will hopefully see you again soon.